and welcome back to my channel. So I decided to film a Garba slash Navratri get ready with me the other day and it was something a little bit more colourful to match my outfit. So if you would like to see how I got this makeup look then please keep watching. So I'm starting off by moisturising my skin and here I am using the Clinique Moisture Surge and then going straight onto primer and for that I used the Too Faced Hangover X and I'm putting this all over my face until I'm happy that I have got it all covered before going on to some lip balm and here I'm using my Best Damn Beauty lip mask because I was going to go in with a matte lipstick. Next thing I'm going to move on to is eyes and I'm doing my eyes first because I'm using some quite bright colours. So here I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden before moving on to my eyeshadow. So for this I'm using the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm taking this colour here in the bottom right hand corner and using that as a bit of a eyebrow highlight. And this is actually a really really nice colour on your skin and I was really surprised by it. And then I'm taking this shade over here which is a really nice kind of neutral cool brown and I'm putting that onto my crease. And then moving on to the colourful side of things, I'm using this shade here from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm putting this all over my eyelid. The reason why I used this colour and not the blue that you can see on my blouse is because I took inspiration from the skirt because it had an element of this kind of tealy colour in there. So I love doing that when it comes to eye looks, especially colourful eye looks. I like to take an element of my kind of Indian outfit and use it on my eyes, my lips. So here I'm just blending out the edges using that same crease shade to make sure everything's nice and diffused before moving on to my eyeliner. And for that I am using the Perversion Eyeliner by Urban Decay and I am tight lining both my upper and lower waterline. For mascara I went with a waterproof mascara so I'm using the Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara here and putting that on both my top lashes but I was going to work through my bottom lashes once I'd done my concealer and everything. For foundation I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation and as always I'm putting this on my face and then blending everything away with my damp beauty blender. And I did decide to add a little bit extra coverage in the centre of my face just because I feel more comfortable having a little bit more coverage in that area. Once I was happy with all of that I did my brows and I will leave a link to my brow routine in the info box below but once I was done with that I went straight onto concealer and here I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the usual places that I like to conceal and highlight my face so that's underneath my eyes, my chin, my forehead, the bridge of my nose and a little bit around my mouth and cupid's bow. And again, blending that all away with my damp beauty blender. And what I love about the beauty blender is that it soaks up any excess product and it makes your skin look really nice and not too heavy with loads of product on it, if that makes sense. So once I was done and happy with all of that, I moved on to contour and I've been loving my Laura Mercier contour kit. So here I'm just going in and contouring the usual areas that I like to contour. I do have a contour routine um, using this palette that I want to do soon for you guys so I will have that up as soon as I can um, but once I've got my contour in place I'm just blending all of those lines away and making sure that I'm happy with the way all of the contour and everything is looking on my skin and sometimes I do go in with my beauty blender as well just to make sure all the lines are nice and blended in together Next up, it's time to set all of those areas. So first, I'm setting my highlighted and concealed areas with my Kick-Ass Powder by Soap and Glory. And I'm just pressing that powder into the areas where I applied that Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And to set my contour, I'm using this Kevin Aquan Contour Powder. And I'm just using that on the areas where I used the Laura Mercier Contour Kit. Um, and making sure, again, that everything is looking nice and blended. Now taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer again, I'm just cleaning up my contour and I'm blending that out again with my Beauty Blender. And then I decided to just slightly warm up my face using the Sephora powder that I have. It's just a normal pressed powder, but it's in the darkest shade and it works amazing as a bronzer. I'm really sorry about the lighting in this video. I filmed this when it was dark, so... The lighting looks really weird and it makes my makeup sometimes look really weird as well but I promise you not, it's not like that, it's just the lighting. <laughs> then I'm taking this BH Cosmetics blush palette and taking these two shades here and 
putting them onto my cheeks and then blending everything away to make sure that everything is nice and blended and not looking too much. Then taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour, contour, not contour, highlight, I'm putting that on the usual places that I like to highlight my face and I believe this is in the shade Starlight. It's the lightest, like creamiest colour and I absolutely love it. Now for my lower lash line, I'm taking this burnt orange kind of colour from the Urban Decay electric palette and diffusing that out onto my lower lash line. And I kind of felt like this was looking a bit too red and not enough like orange in there because my skirt has orange in it. So then I took my 35E Morphe palette and those colours that you saw me pointing at and I'm just kind of adding those two on top just to make it a little bit more orange and I was loving the way that it turned out. And then adding some more of that Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight onto the inner parts of my eyes just to make them look nice and open and wide. <laughs> and then I used my Bindi box bindies and put the blue one on my forehead and then moved straight on to lips. So here I'm using Pure Hollywood which is an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and then I went over the top using I believe this shade is called Spicy, but I will leave a link to it in the info box below. And I'm just adding this on here because I didn't want too much of an orangey lip, but I wanted there to be like a hint of orange on my lips. Um, now I'm just finishing off my eyes, so I'm adding the Cannonball Mascara onto my lower lashes. Because if I hadn't have done this then, I would have totally forgot. And then it was time to move straight onto lashes. And for lashes, I used my Red Cherry Lashes in the shade Wispy. And these are my favourite red cherry lashes, if you guys are wondering. For my earrings, I wore these really traditional looking earrings, which I got from a boutique in India. And then, last but not least, makeup wise, I didn't want to forget to set my makeup. So I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to make sure that my makeup lasted all night. And for my hair, I left my hair out. But here I'm just straightening like the parts which kind of frame my face. Just because I hadn't really done anything to my hair the whole day and I felt like it was a little bit kinky around those areas. So once I was done with that I just gave it an overall kind of straighten and then moved on to my perfume. And for my perfume I wore the Liz L Botanical Essence in number 20. And my bangles are a mixture of bangles which I got from India. And that you guys is the final look that I had gone for for Gerba. I wanted to go for something really bright and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this slightly bit more kind of colourful makeup look which I haven't done in what seems like ages. I hope you guys have all had an amazing Navratri and I can't wait for Diwali which is coming up soon as well but that's all for now you guys and I guess I will see you all in my next video. Bye!